Okay, so question D was as follows. The frequency table below shows the type of movies that twenty learners like watching on television. So you can see the frequency table there. We have got types, type of movies, number of learners. So types of movies we have got comedy, action, adventure, drama. Okay. So when you look at the numbers, this is just presenting the reality of life or of movies, the true picture of movies uh, learners enjoy. Okay. So when you <coughs> when you look at uh, When you look at uh, action movies, as you can see, it has got a, a higher number. It has got a lot of uh, learners that enjoy action movies, and that's a reality. Okay, so you can see that comedy has got four learners. There are four learners who like comedy. There are eight learners who like action movies, and there are six learners who like adventure movies, as well as uh, two learners who like drama. Okay, so the question is illustrate this information on the pie chart below. Okay, so what we're going to do here is first we're going to find the total of the total number of learners uh, that like different movies. So we have got for comedy we have got four, which will be added to eight, and then we are going to add also six, then two. So when you see 4 plus 8 will give us 12, 12 plus 6 will give us 18, 18 plus 2 will give us 20. So there are 20 learners uh, who love different movies, okay, in this question. Eh? All right, now next what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to transfer this uh, number. I'm not going to delete it to lab it, so I'm going to put it aside there, okay. As you can see, it is on the left side of the circle, okay, so that we can remember the total number of learners who live different movies <coughs> okay so now what we can do now is we can now start by finding the the degree of uh, learners who love to who love comedy okay so here to present this information on a pie chart we are going to convert uh, these numbers of learners into degrees, okay? So they they obtain into degrees so that we can now write the bearing on this pie chart. So we are told there are four children who like comedy uh, movies. So we are going to divide four by the total number of learners which we found is 20. So I'm going to say four over 20. Then we are going to multiply by 360 because a complete turn has 360. So this entire circle has got 360 degrees. So I'm going to multiply 4 over 20 multiplied by 360 degrees. Now here I want you to pay attention. I want you to pay close attention because I'm just going to do this once. But um, you're supposed to do this over and over until... Uh, in this question we are supposed to do this four times. But I'm not going to do it four times. So pay attention. Okay. So what we're going to do is first we're going to divide uh, 360 by 20. Okay, 360 degrees by 20. Okay, we are trying to simplify or in other words we want to get rid of the fraction. Okay, so uh, I will start first by cancelling the zero. So zero down and zero on top. Okay, then we have remained with it six on top as two down here. So I can divide uh, 32 divided by, oh sorry, 36 divided by two. Okay, or I can also divide 4 divided by 2. Okay, but I want to get rid of that, so I'm going to divide. Um, I want to, 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 uh, I want to do it once, so I'm going to do a with uh, 36. I won't touch 4. Okay, so I'm going to divide uh, 2 by 2, or uh, yeah, 2 by 2, which will go once, then 2 into 36, it will give us. Uh, 18 okay then when you look at that then i'm going to multiply 4 by 18 so it's going to be uh, 4 by 18 okay that's what is remaining in that expression now when you look at 18 this is the same number we can be getting if we continue doing this 
So we know that when we divide 360 degrees by 20, it will give us 18. So it's even easier to be multiplying every number by 18. Okay, so I've demonstrated on how you can do it. If in the question they want you to do it over and over, that is how you evaluate um, 4 over 20 multiplied by 360. That's how you evaluate it and then you come up with that. Okay, so 4 multiplied by 18 will give us 72 degrees. 4 multiplied by 18 degrees will give us 72. Then I'm going to draw, um, I'm going to cut this uh, circle or this by chart uh, i'm going to demarcate where 72 degrees should be so uh, what you need to do is you need to get a protractor and this line is that's where you put the the baseline that means uh the 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 curved uh area or the curved side goes on top then that line there then you know take note where there is 72 that's where you mark okay so here 72 is here even if my protector cannot be seen here, but I'm measuring, and uh, these are actually uh, 72 uh, degrees. If you want, you can screenshot the, the this, and then you try to measure. I'm try, I'm getting the exact measurements, which is 72, and that's what you need to do. Okay, use protractor, then you mark where the 72 degrees, then you cut. Okay, so that is for comedy so i'm going to write comedy 72 and there let me also put the word comedy okay once i've done that now i can go to action so i'm going to write action here then action we have got eight now remember i said earlier on that i'm not going to go through the same uh, process of evaluating um like eight over 20 multiplied by three 360 because i know that 20 can go into 360 degrees 18 degrees times so i'm going just to multiply 8 by 18 so the the area of circled there is the one i'm just i'm not going to go through that but i'll just pick 18 because even i wrote i went through that i'll get 18 there on top so i'm just going to multiply 8 by 18 degrees then uh when i multiply that it's going to give me 144 okay once i get 144 then i'm supposed now to mark 144 Okay, so what it means is uh, I'm going to put now my protractor where the Z, uh, the line that is coming from on top, uh, the one I just drew, that's why I'll put my protractor, then I'll take note where it's 144 and it will be here. This is where 144 degrees is and that is for action, which is 144 degrees okay now next i'm going to calculate the degrees for adventure so adventure i'm going to write adventure there then in the number of people that like adventure movies are uh, six so we're going to say six multiplied by again i'm just going to pick 18 there six multiplied by 18 then i'm going to find the value of six multiplied by 18 degrees which is 108 degrees so 108 degrees that is the value of uh uh, learners who like adventure movies so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go on the pie chart again there and then i'm going to mark 108 degrees so my my protractor the line the baseline there will, will line from uh, this line of my marked earlier on uh, which is going uh, <coughs> diagonal diagonally on the right side so that's where i'll put uh, the one which is pointing 72 degrees that's where i'll put my protractor then i'm going to measure 180 degrees which will land me here okay that will be 180 degrees okay 180 degrees and that is it for adventure which is 180 degrees now if you are measuring a uh, collector that means what will remain there like the space which is remaining there before i even do the calculations that will be for drama that will be for movies which are drama so uh, if you are cutting properly it will measure the exact 36 degrees even before you calculate the remaining uh, portion there will be 36 degrees before you even calculate Okay, so let me write drama. Then drama, how many? There are two. Then I'm going to multiply two by 18 degrees. 
Uh, the 18 degrees is coming from there where these people I'm I'm skipping that stage because of time so 2 multiplied by 18 will give us 36 degrees okay so the value of drama is uh, 36 degrees so I'm going to say drama 36 degrees and that is the correct answer so basically if you have cut out or you have drawn lines properly uh, on the pie chart this is how it should look like okay and when you get a protractor you measure every uh, sector of the pie chart you find that it will be uh, the same measurements you we have calculated otherwise uh, let's go to the next question this is what you need to do if you have got questions you can ask in the comment section Otherwise, we go forward.